Well, the Supreme Court has voted to wipe a program that would cancel up to $400 billion in student loans. Our Caitlin Ashbaugh spoke to some students and visitors here in the Lowcountry on what the decision means for them. Hours after the Supreme Court decided to strike down the chance for borrowers to reduce their student loans by up to 20 grand, students are already worried about what comes next. When I do graduate now, my debt is going to be almost double what it would have been if the relief plan had gone through. Biden's relief plan would have applied to more than 40 million Americans, racking up a total of $400 billion in student loan forgiveness. Reports from the AP said it was deemed unlawful on Friday by justices because it was not, quote, explicitly approved by Congress. Some statewide leaders responded to the decision, Governor Henry McMaster, calling the plan a, quote, insult to Americans. Meanwhile, Representative James Clyburn saying the vote was, quote, disastrous and wrongheaded. One woman emphasized the time and commitment it takes to pay off student debt, sometimes remaining a nuisance for decades. I was blessed to not have to worry about loans, but my friends had loans, you know, and it's been 20, 30 years since I graduated, and there's, some of them are still paying off their loans. Another community member added how not being financially free from debt can affect or delay important life experiences. It impacts them greatly because for years they're straddled with debt. It's hard to buy a house. It's hard to make a, a, your way in the life. For now, it's back to the drawing board for those with loans and finding out how to pay off access to their education. In Charleston, Caitlin Ashbaugh, Live 5 News. Now this is the end to a year-long battle for the plan, kick-started as a key promise to President Biden's campaign. It was introduced in August of 2022 and then put on hold by the U.S. Court of Appeals later in the fall, where it remained at a standstill until today.